Before Walking Dead became a TV show eight years ago, not many people outside of comic readers would have heard of it. It was, and still is, an amazing comic written by Robert Kirkman and initially drawn by Tony Moore. When he left, he was subsequently followed by Charlie Adlard, who was directly approached by Robert Kirkman himself. He obviously took over from issue 7. As soon as the first episode hit our screens in 2010, The Walking Dead blew up and became one of the biggest franchises that had spanned from the comic book. It spread into TV spin-offs such as Fear the Walking Dead, comic spin-offs such as Here's Negan and the uh, little, little known The Alien, games, toys, clothing, even jewellery and food. And for eight long years, things have been going strong, but the past 12 months, the franchise seems to have faced a couple of problems. The first such problem arose in the middle of 2017, with some of their t-shirt merchandise being pulled from Primark in the UK due to it supposedly being racist. The eeny, meeny, miny, mo quote that was emblazoned across the t-shirt sent ripples through customers of the store due to the reference of the original racist rhyme. Secondly, we move on to The Walking Dead magazine. Now, The Walking Dead magazine has been an essential guide to The Walking Dead universe for the past five years. It has featured reviews and interviews, as well as sneak peeks into every aspect of The Walking Dead world. But with issue 22, it will sadly be no more. I know some of their regular features were a bit samey. I mean, there is only so many di- uh, diary of a walkers you can do. But as for everything else, there is still a plethora, a plethora sorry, of news, stories and merchandise left in the world. So is it a sales reason that it is ending, or is there a lack of interest in The Walking Dead in general? I myself admit I always bought it, but due to its schedule, I did have a tendency of missing it. And now we move on to the supposedly disastrous Walking Dead Season 8 first half that a lot of fans have criticised for having too much action and not enough story. But to be honest, in previous years, fans have generally complained that there's been too much story and not enough action. I say supposedly because I don't think it was entirely that bad. It is a war, and with war comes fighting. While a couple of things didn't make sense to me, like why didn't Rick just shoot Negan on the unprotected step, I have enjoyed it. But episode after episode, fans were disappointed until the mid-season finale, when Carl was shown to have a bite, and this, for most fans, was the icing on the cake, and it did inevitably lead to Scott Gimple's supposed promotion or demotion, however you want to look at it, and to lead him away from ruining any more of AMC's viewership. Now, the only problem with this is Carl Grimes has been one of the most hated characters of the show for so long. He has a solid fan base, admittedly, and people have warmed to him, but in every other series, all people have ever done is complain about him. Now, admittedly, I'm not impressed with the way that Carl's death played out, but I do believe that Carl's death was a good thing. It does open up a whole host of new storylines that will not have been done in the comics. Also, this is a hard world the characters live in. I know Daryl has spoken out and saying, if you get rid of all the original players, it becomes a different show. But watching this, you need that element of fear. You need to know that not everyone can make it, not everyone is safe. It's what keeps you focused on the characters and what keeps you caring and worrying about the events that are slowly unfolding in front of them. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly recently, Gimple said with regards to Carl's death, and I quote, Well, I can't exactly say what happens, but there is a story there and there are remarkable performances by everybody involved, led by Chandler Riggs, and a certain compulsion is given to the story, certain ideas and wishes, and even reveals with incredible importance to the season in the overall story. With Scott Gimple moving on and Angela Kang taking over as showrunner from Series 9, hopefully the fans will become more excited once again. As for the comic, it is still going strong. You would think that there are so many stories only, but Kirkman does have a way of surprising us, especially with the current New World Order storyline. I personally wasn't looking forward to it, but already after the first issue I'm intrigued, and this does show that the story can survive with minimal contact with the original characters. The gaming side, as ever, is still going strong, with Telltale's final chapter coming soon and the hugely anticipated Walking Dead game coming out later this year. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. I'm Aaron Cummings, and you have been watching The Appeal of Walking Dead. If you like this video and want to see more, click on the subscribe button and the alarm, the bell button, and you'll be notified as soon as we upload. We intend to upload at least two of these sorts of videos a week and obviously my brother Arnie will keep on with the comedy side. Okay, thank you for listening. See you later guys.